Hey there, ladies. This week we played around with our fan mail, so I'm going to um, record that little sequence that we did. Um, but keep in mind, if you don't have a fan mail and you don't intend to get a fan mail, um, you can definitely do these same moves just with your hand doing that same kind of motion. And I'll demonstrate that as well. But also remember that we talked about in class some places where you can get these things for relatively inexpensive if you think you're going to want to, to perform with them or even just have them to practice at home. Um, there's actually some very affordable options that you can find online. Anyway, um, we had one combination with our fan veil that we were repeating three times. Um, so let's look at what that combination looks like. Now keep in mind that the fan is basically an extension of my arm. So I don't have it, you know, at a, at a weird angle. Like if my arm is going out like this, the spines of my fan are also mimicking that same direction. And anytime that I'm turning with it, I want the wood to be the part that's going into the turn and the tail, the, the actual veil of the fan to be what's following so that it looks pretty and flowy behind. Because if I was trying to shove into it, it just gets all um, jammed up. So anytime you're moving it, you want your fan to be an extension of your arm and you want the tail to be following the spine of it. So our first part of that little combination was to draw a figure eight in front of our body. So we're going, um, whichever handedness you are, which is your dominant hand that you're holding it in, you're going to start up on that side, come down through the middle, up on the opposite side, and come back two times, two big figure eights. Now that we're on this side, we're just going to do a flutter up and down, and then to the other side, a flutter up and down. And now taking it across overhead. When I'm overhead, I want to think about the spine being turned kind of this way to my audience instead of that way. It's kind of like the point towards the audience. So I'm going to wave it overhead back and forth twice. And that's going to make it end on the side where I can bring it around behind my head and down in front. Around behind down in front. So it kind of changes right there from being a horizontal movement to being a vertical movement. And then once it gets back here, we're going to do a slow turn around. So that gets repeated several times. That whole thing, the figure eights, the flutter up on both sides, the wave overhead, and um, the behind the head in front of the body twice, and then you turn and you just start back over. Now, without the fan veil, let's see what that would look like. I could still do my figure eight in front of my body. I could still raise my hand up gracefully, left and right, wave it overhead with pretty hands. And I could still kind of follow it, almost as if I have a veil, and then just turn around to get back where I'm at. Um, another thing that would be an option if you don't have a fan veil at home is if you just have just a basic little, um, like the kind you use in summertime to fan yourself, even if it doesn't have the veil stretched out, it might give you some good practice with holding the spines there in your hand. Now for a little introduction that we did before those repetitions, we start off with our fan um, being draped across this kind of just like a regular veil. Now, my hands are free, so I have the back, and the fan is stuck in the back of my belt. So my hip scarf is holding my fan in place, then I brought it around my torso, wrapped it up onto the opposite arm. Um, now, I want this to be wrapped so that my hand that's not my dominant hand is the one that can reach over and undo this veil. So this is my dominant hand. This is eventually going to have the fan in it. My non-dominant hand is going to be able to reach up and pull this loose. I just have it very loosely tucked underneath my strap right there on my shoulder so that it'll stay in place while I move just a little bit, but then I can gracefully pull it down and I can also reach behind and pull out the fan and get it loose. 
So what we're doing to start with, we're gonna have eight counts of just a hip drop. So I would just kind of keep my hands on my hips a little bit here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna go into an eight count of a figure eight, which is truly just two big figure eights. Then we'll do an eight count with snake arms, but on the seven, eight, we're gonna lift our arms up, and then the eight count um, will be coming down with our arms crossing over, and I'm gonna leave that arm that's gonna pull my veil loose while the other hand goes down. So now I'm gonna turn slowly and pull that loose and wave it until the end of that little sequence that we have here. Then we're gonna turn with it. Now I had to turn the opposite way. Um, when I was taking it loose, I turned in the direction that I was pulling it down. But in this case, after I have it waving, I want it to trail behind. So I'm turning the opposite way of how I turned and I'm gonna pull my fan loose as I'm turning so that once I get around, I have my fan in my hand. It's still closed. And what I'm gonna do is um, do a little shimmer up in the air. Another one on the other side, one through the middle. And then this time as I turn, I'm gonna start opening it as I'm going around. So when I get back to the front, I'm ready to start that repetition because I have it all the way open.